North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has surprisingly prolonged his stay in Russia, where he was engaging with President Vladimir Putin for a suspected arms transaction. The duo had explored prospects for military collaboration on Wednesday. Mr. Putin also graciously accepted an invitation from Mr. Kim to visit North Korea, as conveyed by a Kremlin spokesperson. Moscow's procurement of weaponry for its conflict in Ukraine has raised alarms, with the US cautioning that any assistance would breach UN resolutions. Ensure you stay well informed by subscribing to our channel, Slant News. We provide the latest, most credible news. Thank you for considering us. Mr. Kim received a warm reception from Mr. Putin at the Vostokny Space Center in Russia's Far East on Wednesday. The North Korean leader had traveled there over two days in his private, luxurious, bulletproof train. Russian state media footage showcased the two leaders beaming as they exchanged handshakes. Mr. Putin personally guided Mr. Kim through the space center, and they exchanged gifts, as disclosed by Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov. Mr. Putin gifted Mr. Kim a glove from a spacesuit that had voyaged into space multiple times and a Russian-made rifle. In return, Mr. Kim presented Mr. Putin with a North Korean-made firearm, among other offerings. Following the summit, Mr. Putin returned to Moscow, while Mr. Kim's visit was slated to continue for several days, according to Mr. Peskov, who refrained from providing further details. The North Korean leader was anticipated to oversee a presentation of Russian warships and also make visits to various factories. Additionally, he was expected to visit the eastern city of Vladivostok on his journey back. The meeting between the two sanctioned regimes occurred at a time when their relationships with the West were at an unprecedented nadir. During the summit, the two leaders deliberated on military affairs and the conflict in Ukraine. Mr. Kim seemed to voice his support for Russia's cause, stating, Russia has risen to a sacred fight to protect its sovereignty and security against the hegemonic forces of the West. He assured Mr. Putin of his unwavering support for his decisions. Furthermore, Mr. Putin pledged assistance to Pyongyang in satellite development, raising concerns in the US that Russian aid in satellite technology could enhance North Korea's missile program. US State Department spokesman Matthew Miller voiced apprehension emphasizing that such cooperation might infringe on multiple UN Security Council resolutions, which Russia had previously endorsed. Mr. Putin seemed to acknowledge these concerns, acknowledging certain limitations to military cooperation. In response to US warnings about weapons exchange between North Korea and Russia, the Kremlin emphasized that their interests were paramount and not subject to warnings from Washington.